It's been exactly one year today since rioters breached the Capitol in Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Natasha Paloma. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Capps spoke with local representatives who were there that day. She is live in central El Paso with what they had to say. Now that a breach on the Capitol made it so that it co Congress had to evacuate. Now both Congresswoman Veronica Escobar and Congressman Tony Gonzalez were inside the gallery at the Capitol when that breach happened. Now go ahead and take a look at this a video from back on January 6, 2021 of Congresswoman Veronica Escobar taking cover inside the gallery at the Capitol. Congress was in the process of counting electoral votes and formalizing President Joe Biden's victory over former President Donald Trump. When the Capitol was breached. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar recalling being trapped in the gallery with the last group to be evacuated. I remember the sounds of the mob. I remember the gunshot. I remember the sound of breaking glass. I remember seeing the, the face of uh, one of the insurrectionists who, whose, whose face could be seen on the other side of that glass, opposite, you know, on the other side of that piece of furniture that was protecting us. Congressman Tony Gonzalez also in the gallery. Here you can see photos of him helping to barricade the door, sending us this statement, reading in part, quote, January 6 was a dark day for our Capitol. I was proud to stand with U.S. Capitol Police as protesters tried to take the House. Protests that day should have never reached that level of violence. Now, Congressman Gonzalez adds that he has still gotten no answers as to why the Capitol was vulnerable to that attack. And Congresswoman Veronica Escobar says she also hasn't received any information from the FBI about information into those El Pasoans who were among those who went inside the Capitol that day. We'll have more on this coming up on KTSM 9 News at 6. Reporting live from Central El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Shelby, thank you. And the attack was fueled by claims of voter fraud in the 2020 election. It set the stage for some Texas political moves in 2021. During the second special session this year, Republican lawmakers passed new voting regulations, banning 24-hour and drive through voting, and adding more restrictions to vote by mail. The governor also ordered an audit of the 2020 election in four of the state's largest counties. The results of those audits came back with some irregularities, but no widespread voter fraud. Now, one year later, Texas Republicans and Democrats remain divided on what happened last year on this day. Going back by the places that were scarred and desecrated in the Capitol, uh, something I, I hope I never go through again. My Democrat colleagues, their hysteria over January 6th and the narrative to overblow it, exaggerate it, and overdramatize it as, as, uh, as one of the worst events and an insurrection, to me, it's uh, absurd. The claims that fueled last year's attack are expected to appear on the campaign trail this year. Now to Juarez 